so challenge 19 has a barcode, a QR code, and uh, what looks like some hexadecimal uh, ASCII characters. Uh, so the first one, the first barcode, uh, decodes into uh, this string of letters. Oops. Ah. Q-A-P-U-P-G-Y-L-I, which is what I will uh, enter in on the screen. And the second QR code, uh, after you scan it, should give you something like this. HWD, ZPI, HFH, PQ, PPH. And then uh, finally, uh, this uh, string of hexadecimal uh, characters here. Uh, we'll see if that decodes into ASCII. So bring up the ASCII table. And we'll start decoding here. So 66 is the letter F. So that's what we'll do with the letter F up here. Uh. Hmm. Okay, and so when you decode these um, hexadecimal numbers and uh, translate them into uh, their ASCII characters, you get this uh, FO space A-W-D-C-H-A-L-I-O-P. Now, um, again, the format of the messages we've been looking at are um, is the key for uh, number something is. And uh, at this point, um, uh, if you recall that movie in the imitation game, uh, that's the messages were all beginning with the same uh, string uh, or greeting. Um, so this is the uh, known plain text uh, attack, which is basically what we've been doing over and over again in here. But it just brings it back home that uh, um, if you don't put random padding uh, inside your message, that uh, you're you're basically vulnerable to this style of of, the, uh, of of an attack. So let's assume that this maps to the key four, and then this is going to be number, and then the last one is going to be is, and let's try and decode first the number, uh, so H is going to be N, uh, F is going to be uh, I, which is here, H is N, P is E, uh, Q is T, uh, P is E, P is E, and H is N. So we already know the date, uh, 19. Uh, now we can uh, work on the rest of the uh, password. Um, A maps to H, W maps to U, uh, D maps to M, C we have no mapping for, H maps to N, A maps to H, L maps to O, I maps to R, O maps to S, P maps to E. So hum blank N uh, horse. And so uh, you could probably eventually guess that this is an A, human horse. Uh, or you could just do a brute force attack and figure out that yes, that is the, the key uh, for decrypting it.